Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a stunning mobile app mockups in just few simple steps. First of all, let's create our frame. It's gonna be F on the keyboard. Let's add simple frame and size would be 340 by 695 like so. Let's add the corner radius to 50 and let's add a fill color to F6, F9, FC. Let's hit enter. Then next step is gonna be let's duplicate this frame and let's add different size to it. It's gonna be 300 by 660. Let's keep it like that. Let's add the white color to it. Let's, uh, control R. Let's add, rename them one and two. Select our two frames and let's align them vertically and horizontally. When we've done that, let's zoom in. So for the frame number two, which is the one behind, right, we're gonna add two drop shadow we're gonna add a drop shadow and then we're gonna add an inner shadow okay so for the inner shadow we're gonna have on x axis i'm gonna just add the value and you please just follow as along okay this is gonna be zero the blue is gonna be to 10 the y axis is gonna be minus five the spread we're gonna leave it to zero i'm gonna add the opacity to 100% and the fill color is gonna be A9AFB6 okay cool I'm gonna have this uh, light gray color the same applies for the for the drop shadow okay so the values for the drop shadow is gonna be for the X is gonna be 40 next one is gonna be 140 on the on the y axis is going to be 140 and the spread is going to be minus 40 and the opacity we're going to have it to 20 percent let's make sure we hit 20 percent cool now when we've done that let's make sure that on the on the first frame the corner radius we set to 40 okay forgot to do that and there was visual difference okay now we have that ready let's go to the next step let's create a notch of the top of the display so let's create a rectangle and let's add the size to 140 it's going to be for the width and the height is going to be 227 all right Cool. Now we're gonna do the bottom uh, corner radius is gonna be to 15. Next one is gonna be 15 as well. The color is gonna be the same one as we have on the bottom frame. All right, it's gonna be F6, F9, FC. Let's copy it. And let's paste it in here. Amazing. Now let's leave it at the top. Let's make sure that it's aligned to the middle so you can see it's 80 80 which is all right now cool then next step is going to be create our lock and volume buttons all right a lock and volumes is going to be the same ones so let's create the lock button first let's select the rectangle let's add the um, values so for the width we're going to have 19 and for the height is going to be 110 then what we're gonna do is for the color the same rule apply we're gonna get the same color as we have on the frame number two it's gonna be f6 f9 fc amazing let's make sure we add the corner radius on the right hand side so it's gonna be 15 let's make sure we add the bottom one to 15 as well okay Cool. So this part is done. Now 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just duplicate this one for the volume buttons all right the same width and height but we're gonna do is for the height we're just gonna remove it uh, reduce it to 85 okay and what we're gonna do is the same color as the block button and we're just gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna move it a bit up because I want the the padding between them to be somewhere around 8 pixels cool now let's move to the left let's add flip horizontal cool now let's group them and let's rename the volume cool let's make sure we remove cups just add V it's gonna move it here for now and we're gonna add the lock button to the left to the right sorry let's make sure that they align to the top then what we're gonna know next is click right and select send to back okay or you can use a square back as well let's move it in a bit I want it to be up to six pixels so because it doesn't need to stick out too much same apply it's for the for the lock button you see it goes above so let's do the same send to back let's move it up to six amazing okay so now we have our mock-up ready on the right I've created the um, hero header mockup so now we're gonna add our uh, mockup that we've created to the actual uh, um, hero template and you see how it will look select all the elements and let's add them to the frame okay let's call it mockup now let's add the mockup to the actual screen let's zoom it a bit then let's go to unsplash just on other simple screen in here or an image so you guys can see how it will uh, look let's go to minimal let's add some any background images what you can do you can add any image in, in here and it's gonna look great i like when uh, the bottom of the of the mock-up is cropped we just for the sake of this story I'm just gonna reduce the size a bit so you guys can see how it looks so if we look at the bottom zoom in and look on the small uh, on the, this corner right here so you see the inner shadow transition and the same on the on the drop shadow it looks very clean it looks nice and doesn't doesn't look like it's a harsh shadow so I'm very happy with the result it took us about seven minutes um, to create it because I had to go slowly step by step but if you do it yourself it will take you about maybe a minute to max it's still faster than if you would have gone to online and look for the mockups so it's a good experience for you guys please let me know if you like this tutorial if you have any question please leave them in the comment section below and thank you so much for watching and have a great day